Hey guys, welcome back to another, another vlog. vlog. <laughs> Is this good light? I hope so. Uh, I hope so, and I hope it's filming this time. Yeah. So if I look like a werewolf, I just have to excuse that at the moment. But we are making today some... Uh, uh, it's a <laughs> Taco Bell inspired dish. It's called a quesarito. Quesar is it definitely is that mixed with something? It's like what is it mixed with? So it's a quesadilla. Right. Mixed with a burrito. Burrito, right, okay. So yeah, we'd seen a YouTuber making like a home style version of it. And we thought we could do that, but even simpler. <laughs> so So we are cheating a bit. Instead of making the rice from scratch, we're using a, a one pan to give it that Mexican flavour rice with the meat mixed in with some peppers, onions mm. and we're using chicken. I actually smell that then. How, can I, how come I can smell that? Just the onions are starting to defrost it. <laughs> so, it's yeah. taking so long to kill um, Although I think the quesarito traditionally is made with beef. We're we, using chicken. Because we've got it in and we like. So first of all, we're just going to make the one pan as per instructions on the back. We'll just show you maybe small clips, but we're not going to make you sit through the whole watching of 10-15 minutes because it's pretty basic. Yeah. So we will show you a process. We will show you as the process goes on, but like, yeah, it's going to be bitch bash bosh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going to try and keep it a bit more snappy because... Yeah. So we'll, yeah, we'll just get on with it then, guys. So now we We've are finished making the one pan of rice and meat concoction. And so now we're gonna make the quesadilla part. Okay. But it's gonna be a pretty basic quesadilla because we've got all that flavour in that rice. We don't need <laughs> we, don't, we don't need flavour in that quesadilla. Oh, we definitely don't. And so we're just going to get one of our nice big wraps and place it in the pan. <laughs> To warm it through. Obviously the bigger pan the better, but also the bigger wraps the better because more filling. Everyone wants good filling. <laughs> so we put that in. We'll grab our cheese. A nice big bag of cheese. I'm gonna sprinkle that in. Still edible. Oh but... look, we've got a ladybird in here. Grab that again. Do they still have those STDs? <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. We can't because oh, we're not monetized. It was enjoying the music. It was enjoying the music. It's weird because I've not seen a lady. Do you think that's enough cheese? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. See, Ian was just torturing us with F Club Seven. Well, it just happened to come on and yeah. I just happened it, to dance along to it. It was like self-inflicted, really, because I kind of asked for it to. A noughties 2000 playlist that it came and up it with. It came with the nineties and noughties. Yeah. And it was like. Back to back S Club 7, and so yeah. we just had a good old sing. So that that's the only kitchen. thing that they played in the noughties was S Club 7. So what ever happened to S Club 7? Well, yeah, go they, they, they ended up splitting up, and one of them became really poor and went on <laughs> loose women to say how oh, You can't them. say stuff like that. Anyway, so we just <laughs> pop the other one on top, we'll let that heat through on a, a lowish heat. Maybe we'll flip it over, we'll just have to see. Just enough matter of melt that cheese to stick the two together to make a but quesadilla. Did the other YouTuber that we watched flip it over? I don't remember, but she did burn her hand. <laughs> oh God, that's a big end. But if you do, if you've watched the same video, comment below just to show that you watched it as well. Yeah, that you're on the same yeah. wavelength. 
I, to be fair, it wasn't a complete cook with me, a bit like ours where stuff happened off camera or without the sound. I don't know, but who wants to watch the whole process really? I just no one's that lame that they'd want to watch the whole process. I just don't know <laughs> how it is warm. But she had a lot. Uh, the other person had a bigger pan, so it didn't quite. I don't remember it curling up at the sides quite nice, but you can feel it starting to get warmer. Oh, and we're going to stick it in the oven at the end. Are we? Yeah. Why? Just to help it all meld together a bit. Okay. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. No, I remember it now. I do remember it so now. So we're just going to do this. We've got six tortillas, so even though we only normally eat one each, we're going to do three and just share the other one on. It will take some rounds for our families to eat off camera. <laughs> really? <laughs> but we'll see. We'll eat all of it. So Ian is ready now to make up the whatever the hell he said it was to start Quesarino. with. Quesarino. <laughs> Quesarino, that's it. So we've fried all these with the cheese inside to stick them together, make it. Show us the cheese pull, Ian. Ooh, oh, yum. look at that cheese pull. I love a good cheese pull. We do. So we're just going to spoon some of the mixed ricey, burrito y sauce there. Century filling. You want it to be pretty well filled. But not too filled. Yep, too filled. <laughs> you think that's enough? Yeah, I'd say so. Then we'll add some sour cream. Ooh, yum. Oop. Did you take the inside this out? This one's then? been used before. <laughs> Bias. Used before. <laughs> oh gosh. Just give it a That's tough. <laughs> that is tough. Is it tough not to crack? There we go. Oh, so that looks good. Oh, well, sour cream. Um, Ooh. They originally use chipotle mayonnaise, but we already had this piri piri. <laughs> I hope you've opened it nice so we already had it. <laughs> we hadn't opened it, but we like the look of it. Just to add a bit of a spiciness to it. Right, okay, yeah. And then we've just got some. This was the only nacho cheese. I don't think could... nacho cheese is quite as popular in the UK as it isn't. No. America. Which is a shame because I love like Mexican food. I don't know why we don't hit it a bit hard over here. So it's just a bit like a spicy, cheesy sauce. Mmm. -hmm. It's all just. Okay. That's looking pretty good to be fair. So just bread it all evenly so each bite should have a similar taste. Fold in the bottom. Fold in the top. Fold. <laughs> over. Now I'm just going to move it over to the baking tray because once this but is... Is there nothing you had to do to like... To get it to stick together? Here's no. something, no. Right, okay. And then just... One final flip. Oh, it looks so pretty. And so you just leave the seam at the bottom so they hold it in, hopefully. And we're going to do all these, make them all like that, and stick them in the oven for a few minutes just to gel them together and make them nice and solid. So that's pretty much what we're going to do from now on. Yeah, as you can see, it's working hard in the background. And I'm barely working. No. Did they say that? Working hard or barely working? No, what did they say? Working hard or hardly working. Oh, is that what they say? It might be, but something along those lines. Wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so that's what's happening at the moment. And then we are going to... Eat them. Eat them and probably and watch... we'll let you watch... Oh, yeah, we'll watch some. What are we going to watch? I don't know. I want you to watch that Getting Back With Your Ex programme on Netflix. So there's a programme on Netflix that Aaron started watching without me. <laughs> Hopefully it's not giving me any hints of what he's thinking about his girl. Getting Back With Your Ex. No. That definitely would not happen here. If you met my exes, you would know that that would not happen. So, But it is funny, like, Getting Back With Your Ex programme. You guys should watch it. Please excuse that was the sound of the sound cream <laughs> That Ian making trumping sounds. So, the next thing you see should really be us getting the food out of the oven, shouldn't it? Yeah, it's tasting it.
and tasting it, but then we've got to get the thumbnail first. <laughs> so we will speak to you in a bit. So Ian's took them out of the oven now, but um, I don't know if we should have shown you taking the oven. I mean, it's just like a, a random. It's just like taking out the oven. Yeah. And and we cut one in half because we only had uh, we had more than we normally would. You can see it's well filled. And now, I suppose we'll film the one and only Aria Grace Phil trying his. <laughs> what here? Will we eat it here? No, you can eat it in the other room if you want, honey. That's not nice. It's, there's such a lot of it. There is, it is going to be a big mouthful. Not already. Open wide. Mm. Is that nice? Oh, that is good. Oh, wow, well, that is good. Mm. That's what you call a dramatic pause. Oh, no, that was so good. That is, it's good guys, you've got, you've got to try making it. And so that was pretty easy to make. It was. You don't need to buy too many ingredients. It was easy for me to make because I was just watching. It was. <laughs> and apparently it tastes really good. So we're going to go watch a bit of Netflix and devour these Taco Bell inspired quesarinos. Thanks for watching. We will speak to you in the next vlog. Okay then guys. Bye. <laughs>